Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pharmacology. We are doing this from Lippincott and the topic that we are discussing uh, is the drugs which are used to treat anemias. We already discussed the overview of uh, anemia treatment. Just we have talked about how different causes uh, can lead to anemia. And today we are going to talk about specific drugs which will treat anemias. Now, um, the first in the category is the use of supplemental iron. As you know that iron deficiency anemia is uh, pretty common and um, we call it iron deficiency because in those cases the person is deficient with iron. And this is where this type of drug therapy helps. Iron, you know, is stored in intestinal mucosal cells, also in the liver cells, in the spleen cells um, and the bone marrow as ferritin. So ferritin is the storage form for iron and it is delivered to the bone marrow for hemoglobin production by transferrin. So imagine that there are different stores of iron in the body and those stores are known as ferritin and this ferritin um, you know contains a lot of iron at different places in the body and whenever there is a need of iron what happens that this iron is transported to the site of hematopoiesis and what is the site of hematopoiesis it is the bone marrow so iron basically travels to the bone marrow so that it can be incorporated into hemoglobin structure and that transferring iron is known as transferrin as the name also indicates okay so that's a transport protein now um, it, it carries iron from the storage sites to the uh, bone marrow iron deficiency the most common nutritional deficiency this is a very important statement by the way that one of the most common uh, you know declare kar hai, ke most common hai, but uh, uh, you know you should also know the consequences ke agar ye itni common nutritional deficiency hai, to iske consequences kya honge? if iron is deficient there will be uh, you know low hemoglobin uh, count uh, concentration and rbc count and thus anemia okay so is the most common nutritional deficiency it results from a negative iron balance due to depletion so depletion can happen in for example blood loss yeah during the menstruation if there is a increased iron demand such as in pregnancy so these are all conditions just my iron key deficiency ho sakti hai. in addition to general signs and symptoms of anemia iron deficiency anemia may cause uh, pica which is hunger for eyes, dirt and paper. So you may see some people, you know, with the scratch karke bhi color kha rahe hote hai. So that's an important sign and symptom related to iron deficiency. Coilonychia is the upward curvature of finger and toenail. So nail ke jo nail bat ka curve hota hai, wo khatam ho jata hai. That is coilonychia then. And uh, soreness and cracking at the corners of the mouth so lip corners pe, in areas pe, there is soreness and cracking so these are also additional signs and symptoms associated with iron deficiency okay now how does iron work in the context of anemia supplemental iron corrects the iron deficiencies as easy, easy as that as simple as that the cdc recommendation for iron is about 150 to 180 milligrams per day of oral elemental iron and uh, um, the simplest way that I can explain ki iron kaam yase karta hai is simply body mein iron ki kami hai aapne iron supplement le liye iron level set ho gaye hemoglobin synthesis okay ho gai. simple stuff hai thik hai ab aapko pata hai ki jab bhi hum kisi drug ki baat karte hai you should know the pharmacokinetic of the drug so iron is absorbed uh, by oral administration ke baad aapke jet track mein isne absorb hona hota hai Acidic conditions in the stomach keep the iron in the reduced form. So very simple concept. Whenever there is acidic scenario, or you know, stomach there is a lot of HCl, so there is acidic environment in the stomach. So the iron ko ferrous form me. Ye baat aapko malum honi chahiye from your intermediate um, course ke iron exists in ferric form, which is uh, iron plus three, and ferrous form, which is iron plus two. So acidic, uh, jo acidic environment hai stomach me, it keeps it in the reduced form. So that is the reduced form. This is the oxidized form because the oxidation number is higher. Now, um, iron is then absorbed in the duodenum. So, this is the site where you actually absorb iron. Okay. If iron stores are adequate, less iron is absorbed, and that should make perfect sense. If you iron, you have to use iron, then iron absorbed. But if the iron stores are low, then more iron is absorbed. Okay. The relative percentage of iron absorbed decreases with increasing the dose. Oral preparations include ferrous sulfate ferrous fumarate ferrous gluconate um, so they are always in complex with something okay 
there are also parental formulations of iron such as iron dextran sodium ferric gluconate so you can give this iv as well while parental administration treats iron deficiency very rapidly oral administration may take several weeks and that is uh, perfectly understandable zahir agar aap koi bhi cheez iv denge to uska action immediate hoga aur agar aap koi cheez oral denge so it's going to take some time inducing its effects okay now here is a table which is telling you different formulations of iron so for example there is ferrous gluconate there is ferrous ammonium citrate and the brand names of the drugs which are available in the market and then uh, what is the percentage of iron in there so if you look at there is the highest percentage which is the 100% iron is carbonyl iron polysaccharide iron complex and these are uh, given parenterally okay and obviously like any other drug giving iron is not free from side effects so there are gi disturbances reported very very commonly there is local irritation of iron leading to abdominal pain constipation nausea vomiting diarrhea all these sort of things okay parenteral formulations may be used in those who cannot tolerate or who cannot eff effectively absorb oral iron so un cases mein fir aap parenteral jate hain iv dete hain fatal hypersensitivity and anaphylactic re reactions have also been reported so this is something serious you take iron and then you lead to anaphylaxis serious stuff a test dose should be administered um, you know uh, prior to iv formulations because iv formulation agar koi anaphylactic reaction ho gaya to immediate uh, problem ho sakte hai immediate death bhi ho sakti hai so you have to give a challenge dose first and then go for the full dose okay so easy stuff remember oral ke bhi issues hain aur iv agar aap de rahe hain tab bhi issues hain now the next thing which uh, helps in the process of uh, hematopoiesis is folic acid and then the next one will be vitamin b12 we'll talk about it in a minute but folic acid is very very important the primary use of folic acid in treating deficiency states that arise from inadequate levels of the vitamin folate deficiency may be caused by listen to this very carefully agar फॉलिक एसिड की फॉलिट की डिमांड बढ़ जाती है इंक्रीज डिमांड सच एस प्रेगनेंसी एलेक्टेशन दीज आर द लेडीज जिनको ज्यादा फॉलिट चाहिए होता है सो अगर इनमें फॉलिट सप्लीमेंटेशन नहीं दी गई देन वॉट विल हैपन कि दे विल बी आयरन आयरन डेफिशेंसी जैसे पहले पड़ा था यहाँ पे फॉलिक एसिड डेफिशेंसी एनीमिया हो सकता है सो बेसिकली मेगेलोब्लास्टिक एनीमिया ओके इसीलिए आपको पता है ना कि प्रेगनेंट फीमेल में यू स्टार्ट इमीजिएटली फॉलिक एसिड बिकॉज दीज फीमेल्स रिक्वायर अ लॉर ऑफ फॉलिक एसिड सो यू गिव इन प्रेगनेंसी फॉलिक एसिड फॉर मल्टीपल रीजन one is to avoid anemia and obviously the other one you know is that folic acid deficiency also is associated with neural tube defects right so whenever there is increased demand uh, folic acid uh, must be given and deficiency can happen na isliye aapko ye deni chahiye and the second um, scenario jisme folic acid deficiency ho sakti hai is the poor absorption of uh, folic acid by the small intestine they can be intestinal disease such as crohn disease for example such as any other uh, tropical sprue for example so if the absorptive capacity of the small intestine is disturbed or some other parts of the gi tract as well which will affect ultimately the whole gi system so absorptive capa capacity agar disturb hoti hai tab bhi folic acid absorb nahi hoga the third condition can be alcoholism directly interferes with the metabolism of folate and folate uh, absorption is um, badly affected and then there can be some drugs such as dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor ye sare groups ke naam diye hain methotrexate trimethoprim and drugs which directly inhibit dna synthesis ye tamam wo scenarios hain jisme folic acid ke levels down ho sakte hain aur agar iski deficiency hogi there will be megaloblastic anemia so you have to treat the patient by giving folic acid okay folic acid is rapidly absorbed in the jejunum unless abnormal pathology is present in the jejunum oral folic acid administration is non toxic and at high doses excess vitamin is excreted in the urine so it's pretty safe treatment you can easily prescribe this to a person who needs folic acid okay now uh, sometimes if you give it iv there can be hypersensitivity reactions just like we talked about uh, iron okay and this is to tell you that how important is folate because if there is folate deficiency then there is disturbance in purine pyrimidine synthesis and uh, this leads to defective nucleic acid synthesis and megaloblastic anemia okay 
Another very important component for normal synthesis of red blood cell is vitamin B12. So deficiency of vitamin B12 can result from either low dietary levels or more commonly poor absorption um, intestine. Okay, because um, uh, you know the failure of gastric parietal cells to produce the intrinsic factor and that happens in pernicious anemia which is an autoimmune disorder so hota basically ye hai ki pernicious anemia mein jo gastric parietal cells hain wo intrinsic factor nahi banate and intrinsic factor is required for the absorption of vitamin b12 so if there is pernicious anemia there is no intrinsic factor no absorption of vitamin b12 this is the story in addition to general signs and symptoms of anemia vitamin b12 deficiency uh, anemia may cause tingling which is pins and needles in the hands and feet aksar patients ye complain karte hain there can be a lot of uh, cns issues such as dementia difficulty in walking and you see in extreme cases there can be hallucinations paranoia even schizophrenia so vitamin b12 is a serious stuff the cause of megaloblastic anemia needs to be determined in order to be specific in terms of treatment because megaloblastic anemia can be because of folate deficiency it can also be because of vitamin b12 deficiency okay so therefore it is important to identify if the megaloblastic anemia is because of b12 or folate deficiency so um, agar aap megaloblastic anemia ko जो कि बी ट्वेल्व से हो रहा है उसको फॉलिक एसिड से ट्रीट करेंगे या वाइस वर्षा तो बात बनेगी नहीं ना है ना सो यू हैव टू ऑलवेज एग्जामिन द पेशेंट वेरी केयरफुली कि उसमें न्यूरोलॉजिकल सिम्टम्स हैं या नहीं है द वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व ऑब्वियसली मे बी एडमिनिस्ट्रेड ओरली इंट्रामस्कुलरली डीप सब क्यूटेनियसली इंट्रामस्कुलर हाइड्रोक्सीकोबोलोमीन इज प्रिफर्ड सिंस इट हैज अ रैपिड रिस्पॉन्स सो दस वेरी गुड इन पेशेंट्स विद मेल एब्जॉर्बशन सच एज बेरियाटिक सर्जरी जिन्होंने करवाई हुई है कई लोग करवाते हैं तो उनमें फिर मेल एब्जॉर्बशन इशूज होते हैं वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व सप्लीमेंटेशन एस एन कोबोलोमीन इज रिक्वाइड डेली इन हाई डोजेज बिकॉज नाउ दे हैव रिमूव द पार्ट ऑफ द इंटेस्टाइन विच यूजली वॉज इन्वॉल्व इन एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ वाइटमिन बी ट्वेल्व सो दे हैव टू गिव गिवेन यू नो Uh, perhaps intramuscular injections daily the vitamin is non toxic even at very large doses in pernicious anemia therapy must be continued for life because the intrinsic factor is required for their absorption okay now the last thing that i have to tell you which is routinely used in patients who are anemic is erythropoietin and uh, darbepoietin अब होता ये है कि जो पेरीट्यूबुलर सेल्स हैं किडनीज में दे एक्चुअली रिस्पॉन्ड टू हैपोक्सिया एंड दे प्रिपेयर स्पेशल केमिकल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड इरिथ्रोपोइटिन इट स्टिमुलेट्स द स्टेम सेल्स टू डिफ्रेंशिएट इनटू प्रोइथ्रोब्लास इनिशियली एंड देन द रेड ब्लड सेल्स देयरफॉर वी कैन सी कि जो इरिथ्रोपोइटिन है इट रेगुलेट्स द रेड ब्लड सेल प्रोलिफरेशन एज वेल एज डिफ्रेंशिएशन इन द बोन मैरो Now, human erythropoietin produced by the recombinant technology is very effective in the treatment of end-stage renal disease. Now, imagine kidney say ye erythropoietin banana tha, jisne blood cells banana the. Ab agar there is end-stage uh, kidney disease ya chronic kidney failure hai, to what will happen? Ki there will be no erythropoietin, no erythropoietin or low erythropoietin. This ki wajah se uh, hematopoiesis effect hogi. Hematopoiesis effect hogi to. जाहिर रेड ब्लड सेल्स नहीं बनेंगे हीमोग्लोबिन नहीं होगा एनीमिया होगा तो अब क्या करें किडनीज तो खराब हो गई तो अब उसको रिकॉम्बिनेट यानी लेबोरेटरी में बना हुआ बिल्कुल ह्यूमन जैसा एरिथ्रोपोइटिन दे देंगे एंड थिंग्स विल बी फाइन सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस ओके देयर आर साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑब्वियसली जिसमें ब्लड प्रेशर एलिवेशन है आर्थ्रेलजिया है जॉइंट में पेन्स बट लेट मी टेल यू एरिथ्रोपोइटिन इज इज अ लाइफ सेवर इन पेशेंट्स हु हैव किडनी इशूज ओके नाउ वैन ई पोइटिन एल्फा इज यूज दिस इज अनदर डेरिवेटिव Uh, to target hemoglobin concentration over 11 gram per dl serious cardiovascular events such as thrombosis and hypertension may happen so severe side effects the recommendations for all the patients receiving epoidin alpha or darbepoietin include a minimum effective dose that does not exceed a hemoglobin level of 12 gram per deciliter because um, you know if you keep on increasing the dose of these erythropoietin derivatives there are serious side effects okay so uh, that's it basically so if some and it's pretty simple so agar aapke paas koi patient aata hai with anemia obviously you have to identify the cause if iron is deficient this is iron deficiency anemia prescribe iron if you identify megaloblastic anemia it would either be because of folate or because of b12 
एंड यू हैव टू लुक डीपर इन टू दिस कि ये डेफिशंसीज क्यों हो रही हैं इज देर एनी प्रॉब्लम लाइक पर्नीशियस एनीमिया इफ देर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम लाइक बेरियाटिक सर्जरी इफ देर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम लाइक द पेशेंट इज टेकिंग दैम इन लो अमाउंट्स इन डाइट सो आपको कॉज को फिक्स करना होगा उसके हिसाब से ट्रीटमेंट होगी एंड इफ देर इज एंड स्टेज रीनल फेलियर देन यू हैव टू गिव इरिथ्रोपॉइटिन विच इज सिंथेटिक इरिथ्रोपॉइटिन ओके सो प्रेडी मच ये तीन चार ड्रग्स हैं जो एनीमिया में यूज होती हैं सो इट्स नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक बट इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअली अदरवाइज आपको कॉन्सेप्ट बैठेगा नहीं तो आप ड्रग्स पे पकड़ रख नहीं पाओगे ठीक है चलो फिर मिलता हूँ आपसे अगली वीडियो में तब तक के लिए अपना ख्याल रखना